Hey YouTube, this is Manning8. I want to just take a moment to show you this Everest watch roll. This is a two slot roll. You'll see that I've got two watches here. That allows you to travel with three watches because you wear one and then you put you know, two in the watch roll. Before I open it up, I want to show you what I think maybe is the best part of the design. If you look at this shape, this is a very odd you know, shape. And the, uh, the bottom though is flat. And what, I'm gonna see, just show you that again now that I've mentioned it. What that allows you to do is, is have a very stable platform, you know. It's not gonna, if you bump into it, it won't go rolling, it won't roll off the back of the, uh, the table or desk, wherever you have it. And um, let's get that straight. So that allows you not only to use this for travel, but you can use it for display purposes. And if you if you can look at this leather, I think I want to show it to you up close. It's um, you know it's fairly high quality uh, leather and workmanship. I I think it looks pretty sharp, especially with the contrast in color. But I and I realize that that's a little bit of a personal preference. But uh, certainly because of the flat bottom, uh, you know it's it's quite stable, and you can use it for display, not not just for travel. And uh, so that's the first point I want to make, really, is uh, that, that flat bottom and, and the, the possibility of using this for a display. You can put it on a, on a desk or a table, and it, it looks pretty good. Now, as far as using it for travel, maybe i just show you this from this angle here. You've got these uh, dividers, and on the, uh, the larger size, you know, you can get uh, more slots if that's what you need. But these, these uh, dividers prevent the watches from banging into each other. Some brands just have a, like, a, like a roll like this, and all the watches just sit on that roll, and there's nothing in between the watches, so they, they can kind of bang into each other. But with the Everest watch roll, you can see that um, they just kind of float in midair, and they float on these pillows, individual pillows. I'll pull one out. You know, they can travel up and down the slot, if you can see that. And uh, they don't touch anything, including each other. And so uh, you can be pretty sure that you'll get to your destination and your watches are gonna be in good shape. I have had the opportunity to use this uh, watch roll for travel, but mainly just for road trips. I haven't actually taken it on a plane, so I can't speak to that, but just as far as, uh, you know, throwing in a suitcase, you can, uh, you can count on, on, uh, on your watches being in uh, a okay shape when you, when you get where you're going. So uh, again, the, the dividers, having all this space uh, really makes this a, a compelling product, I think, and then also you can display it you know, you can use it for display. Uh, and then I'm gonna compare it to the Rolex box. Uh, these boxes are uh, pretty horrible. They're just cardboard. You know, even Tudor gives you something nicer than this, so I don't know why they, uh, why they give you the watches in this. But, but, uh, but this is really just for the day you buy it or the day you give it to someone. Uh, I'd throw the boxes out, but... Um, I guess the, the next guy who buys these watches or ends up with the watches wants the box too. So I, I guess I have to keep them, but um, you know, this is a way, much better way to, uh, to display your watches. There are a number of different ways to display watches for sure, but, but this doubles is a, is a really great way to, to travel with them as well. So, um, Hopefully, uh, hopefully I've demonstrated that um, fairly well. And uh, like I say, I, I can speak from personal experience that this has uh, served me well when I've traveled with my watches. Uh, I'll just mention too that I, that I purchased this watch roll from my Rolex AD. The Rolex AD uh, does not have any signs or prices or display models 
for the Everest straps or the watch roll, but, but they do sell this stuff. And uh, I actually got uh, a little bit of a discount on the, uh, on the watch roll. Uh, they're not listed at the Everest website either. So um, next time you go, you know, if you find this to be something you're interested in or, you know, you like the straps or both, you know, maybe ask your uh, Rolex AD about it. See if they've got something in the back uh, because apparently Rolex doesn't want them to be selling this stuff, but, uh, or at least not advertising that they sell this stuff. So, um, you know, there's a tip for you. And again, uh, there's some price flexibility on, on the uh, Everest watch roll. So hopefully you find this helpful. You know, maybe you're, you're shopping for watch rolls. Maybe uh, you're just considering whether or not to buy one. Uh, I think it's a, it's a pretty good product. And uh, I've been, you know, I've been very pleased so far. Okay, this is Manning 8. Thanks.